Hey, what's up everybody? We're back with another video. I took kind of a slight hiatus last week, um, last two weeks. I didn't really put in a video because there is so much going on and so many more important things. I just, I didn't want to take up space on the internet that could be used for something useful. Today, um, I am back and I'm going to be bringing some <laughs> fun stuff. I finally, after weeks and weeks and weeks, it's about two months of waiting, I finally got my tie-dye kit. So guess what we're going to do today? Yeah. Okay, so I have my little setup that I will figure out a way to show you guys, um, obviously, because I think the main portion of this video should be uh, showing you guys what, I guess, designs I do. Um, yeah, so let's get on with it then. So I didn't watch too many tutorials for this, um, but we have our colors, uh, they're good to go. I'm sorry if you see any little hairs, Willow kind of jumped down and went rampant, so I like my sweaters a little baggy. Uh, so I did get a large one. I don't know why, I just really love baggy clothing. We've got our elastic bands because that's just what you do when you tie-dye. <laughs> so, and um, gloves because you know how it is. All right, so <laughs> the next one we've got going on here is going to be a t-shirt. <laughs> We're gonna try um, the spiral again. This is larger because I wanted baggy tie-dye clothes. So for the spiral, what I read, obviously you can tell here, we're gonna do some fancy colors. Um, it's apparently, I am researching it right now as we do it. You just kind of twist. to self. If you guys are going to get a tie-dye kit, get the gloves that are super tight because these ones, don't get me wrong, great. <laughs> but when you're trying to do multiple things at once and you have dye on your hands and then you go and wet something that you are going to tie-dye, it comes off your hands and onto the shirt, yet when you wash them, it doesn't come off your hands. So I kind of figured out too that um, I want to do a crumply one again, as many patterns as there are. This is my first time ever and I really enjoyed the crumply one. So I want to do the crumple one again, but with all the rainbow colors. I figured since I have them here, I may as well use them. 
My only concern is the bleeding of them, and uh, they'll probably make brown, but I'm still excited anyway. <laughs> Damn. Okay, you can see where my hands have ruined it. It's soiled. Actually, it's not, but it is half wet and half dry. This is going to be interesting. First time for everything, am I right? This is the biggest... Woohoo! This is the biggest of all the things I have. Um... So, we're gonna see how this goes. No method to the madness of crumpling. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of sweaters, if you haven't checked it out yet, I actually released my own merch. <laughs> <laughs> exciting, exciting, right? Right? This is also an oversized sweater. Um, I will post the link in the description below, feel free to check it out. I also have a new mug and t-shirts. And the best part about it is they come in white. So you could tie-dye it if you so chose to. <laughs> okay, so adding the last bit of colors to our awesome collection of tie-dye. love that my hands are rainbow right now like I love that but this shit ain't coming off I know it <sighs> guess I just won't be wearing white for a while eh. okay so um this is a continuation <laughs> so it's been two days and I washed them once under cold water and another under under I meant in the washer with uh, warm water and I was able to put like a Tide Pod in there. Basically this is what we're working with. It's kind of nice because they turned out pastel -y and they're big and they're baggy and they're really comfy. Um, I'm really happy with the results and I can't wait to see what I do with them next. <laughs> this is the sweater. It's probably my favorite thing. It turned out super nice, and it is very similar to the shirt, so, um, not much to say on that. Um, and the last thing was my blue and purple, um, sweater, which turned out actually quite interesting. I'm not one usually to wear white, because I always tend to spill on white, because for some odd reason, the universe has put it out there that when I wear white, for some odd reason, I will always have something like pasta with red sauce or like ketchup <laughs> with something like, you know, so I've never had luck, but hopefully that changes. <laughs> so next we have this one. This is really pretty and again, really baggy because that's, oh, focus, because that's how we like it. But I also have an idea for this one. The back is definitely more colored, but that kind of works out because my next video, I don't know if it's going to be a video because we'll see how this one pans out. <laughs> um, the next video or images you guys will be seeing on my socials will be, I'm going to be uh, painting on them actually. I bought some fabric paint, so I'm really excited to try that out as well. I claim to be artistic so we're gonna see how well that goes <laughs> this was just a fun video to try and you know like you just basically came on an adventure with me about my first tie-dye experience ever because I've never been to summer camp I've never done tie-dye and I I don't know I thoroughly enjoyed it though don't forget to like and subscribe it would super duper help me out and I will link my own personal merch in the link below, I do have the sweaters of mine that come in white, so who knows, maybe that's my next big adventure is tie-dyeing my own merch, which could be a completely fun idea. Thank you again. Thank you so, so much. I love you all. 
and uh, I'll see you next time. You'll probably see me in tie-dye. Bye!